Hello. Hello. <laughs> so it's been like a month and a half since you've seen us, and a lot of things have changed for all of us. All of us. Both of us. Um, maybe it's changed for you, too. We don't know. Tell us. We love to hear about it. Um, so this is our first week back in like a month and a half. A long time. We've had some stuff going on. Kaylee's moving, and um, it's, you know... Yeah, changes. Time for changes. Changes. That's what we discussed when we did this video ten minutes ago, and it didn't work. Um, so, <coughs> she's had some stuff going on, and I don't really have stuff going on. I'm just really uber lazy, so she's But I've been reading and buying. And I have not been reading, but have been buying. So, we've got lots to talk about today. And uh, first, we were going to talk about our new webcam, which we've had to futz with a little bit to see if we're going to get it to work. We did a 25-minute video. Which actually you should really be thankful that we're doing another one because it was 25 minutes. No, we're going to try to make it shorter. A little bit. This one, unlike our old one, we got a new webcam and it. Um, this one doesn't tell us how many um, minutes we're at. So we just kept talking until we were done. <laughs> <coughs> and then we looked at it and we're like, wow, that's 25 long minutes of talking. But there was some stuff we really said that was funny and I'm sorry now that you're, you're going to miss, miss out it. But that's okay. We'll try but to now we're not auto-focusing as much. No. So. See, I had to lower the resolution. I got a Microsoft Life Cam, so if any of you know anything about that, then please do let me know how to fix any glitches that you've become aware of. Let's try to remember to look at the camera. Sure. Okay. And, um, and I got like a new laptop. Oh, yeah, that's right. About your broken computer. Yeah, I got a broken... I had a broken computer, and then I found the disks today that could have saved me 300 and thirty dollars on this brand new computer that I love and is gonna be very helpful whenever I start school next week again, so I'm okay with the three hundred and thirty dollar laptop that I got for No, I said you're just gonna have two. I know, I'm very excited. My fiance will have a place to watch porn all by himself, so that's great. And um I guess Let's we talk start about our books. Kindles. Books <laughs> That's why we're here. Let's isn't talk it? about our Kindle. Okay, so I was gonna show you my broken Kindle. Can you move your and I got there's my broken Kindle. This is bad, Jane Austen without a head. That's what a bad Kindle looks Ooh, like. Focus. There you go. And uh, so I, I had to get a new Kindle, and we were very pleased with the customer service from Amazon.com. At 4.30 in the afternoon on a Friday, I called them and said, my Kindle's broken. What did I do? And they said, most likely something, but we're going to act like you didn't do anything. I guess. I don't know. It was really weird. And we're going to send you a new one. And by 11.30 the next morning on a Saturday, I have my brand new Kindle. She was supposed to mail this one back, had she's yet to do. I know, which the box is underneath the bed. I'm going to put it in there tonight, I swear. So, uh -huh. I will. You're here. You can make me. So, anyways, so I have a new Kindle. I have a lot of new stuff. Yay, new stuff for Sharila. And, uh... You want to talk about the books you've been reading on your Kindle? I have been reading a ton. She I loves her you. Kindle. I love my Kindle. I think it is just so handy. Oh, you didn't really see that, huh? So handy. I love it. My nifty pink case. Her case is nifty and pink. <laughs> um, I've been reading. I think I've read like five books on it so far. Um, within the past week, mostly free ones or all free ones. All free ones. She doesn't pay for her books. She's all a freak. free ones. The ones that I have paid for have been like games. Yeah. All the books I have gotten for free, and I'm finding some really good ones. I read one called um, Alice at Heart about a girl exploring her mermaidism. Yes, and in the last video we discussed how um, her mother died th during childbirth. And no, right after she was born. Right, but I think it was during childbirth because her fin split. <sighs> read the book. I don't usually read fantasy. That's fantasy. Books. I think. I don't, I don't usually know. normally read that kind. So when I liked it, I was really excited. And, you know, Little Mermaid was always my favorite Disney movie. Was it? Mm-hmm. I gotta say, I'm a big Mulan fan. Well, see, that's an older Disney. Like, Little Mermaid was, in, like, a a classic. Okay. Mulan is only, like, 1999 or something. Right, it was a great. Mulan is the shit. Oh, we just watched it the other day. You would think Alice in Wonderland would be my favorite, but it's not. But anyway, so I read Alice at Heart about the mermaids. And then I also read um, The Blood That Bonds by Christopher Buchler. Yeah, which still sounds like she's puking <laughs> in her throat. But um, <coughs> about vampires. And, like, I, I don't usually read paranormal either, so this is all new for me. And um, I'm very surprised at how much I actually like these books. In fact, I looked for the second book of The Blood That Bonds. It's called The Blood Hunt. 
Um, and I didn't find it. I don't know. My Kindle's not the best at internet, so. It's not. Does anybody else have a 3G problem? I don't have the 3G. I Her have internet works way faster than mine. I should probably call and complain. so much better. And she has the 3G, and she has a huge problem with hers. I even messed with it, and I don't know what that's all about, but she does have a Yeah, she does it doesn't work problem. for me. So, I mean, I really don't use it. But I might use it if it worked. Right, right. <laughs> so, I just read. And then I also read a short erotic story uh, called Take Me by Grace Samuels. Uh, there is quite a few free erotic stories for your Kindle. So if you need a little we'll pick eroticism. Me up. Go ahead, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pick me up. <laughs> but it's actually pretty good. It's got some, uh, it's not Greek. Roman? Roman gods and goddesses. Like it's going to be a theme play. for us for a little bit, Roman, in our, in our telling yes, of books. Yes, we have some books that all fall in that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it was pretty good, too. And then I'm also reading one on here about fairies, I believe. Oh, you are? You didn't mention that in the first video? Well, the I'm not quite sure see. about fairies, but it talks about sirens. Oh, okay, that's not... Are they fairies? So what is that? Sirens were... I haven't read very much of it. That's why I didn't really talk about it. Do you know who it. I wish was here right now? Sari. Sari. We wish you were here because there's stuff Sari. that we're like, um, I don't know. I don't know. Really. But it's called Reaper. I started reading it because I thought it was like a killer, like, but it's not. At least It's yet. really short. It's really short. You're 12% in and you're not halfway there. No. You're 12% in. I'm 12% in. 12% is 12% no matter how long the book is, isn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, but then I haven't played with my Kindle all day today, which is very weird. Because she's been reading library books. Oh, yes. Am I going to jump in? Go ahead. That? No, oh, okay. okay. Whatever. So then at the library, I was talking to a coworker about books, and I was mentioning two books that I wanted to read, and I was like, well, let me check again, because I haven't checked for maybe about a week or two. It hasn't been that long. But I got The Room by Emma Donahue about, um, a, this is what I'm currently reading. I'm almost over. I'm almost done with it. But it's about a woman who is abducted and is kept in a shed in this guy's backyard and ends up having a kid with this guy, and it's the story through the little boy's eyes. Which sounds really good. It's really good. So I'm almost done with that. I read it all, to, all today. Like, I only have a little bit more. <laughs> so then I also got The Help by Catherine Stockett. In large print, because <sighs> that's all they had. Beggars can't be choosers. You gotta take what you can get. I wanted to read it. I'll read it large. I can read most of the book from where I'm sitting right here. <laughs> like it's it is, like real big. It's real big. So, but there you go. um, my cousins had said that they read it and that they really enjoyed it. So I wanted to read it, and I saw that it was a very good, popular bestseller. You yeah, know. paperback swap. You said it, it was paperback a high swap. on demand there, and I saw a couple ads in my magazines and stuff. So I'm excited to read that one as well. I'm very excited for you. I really want to read The Room when you're done. If I knew that I would be able to read it, I'd just take it before you took it back to the library. But Oh, yeah, because I'll have it done way uh, before it needs to do. Uh, I don't really trust myself. Okay. Anyways, so then I have read one whole book, I swear to God, since last... No, two. Oh, we didn't talk about um, Dead on Town Line. Oh, Dead on Town Line is a book that I got on sale at Ollie's. For 59 place, cents. Place. Like 59 cents. Goodbye. Yeah, and it was wonderful. It's 131 pages it's by Leslie Connor, and I read it before she read it because I was kind of in a slump, and I still really am, but um, I read it in a day at work, and I came home and immediately read it to my mother. I texted Kaylee like six different times, I think, while I was reading it. Yeah, it's about how much she loved it. You have to read this book. You have to read it. And then the next Wednesday when she came over for our Wednesday day, she uh, was, we were just sitting here kind of staring at each other. We do that sometimes. We have hard, hard and lives. she made me read. Yeah, I was like, you need to just read it. Just Sit here and read, read it. this now. Yeah. And I read it within probably 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. And she really liked it. I'm not sure that you liked it quite as much as I did. Or maybe I, I liked hyped it. it too much for you. I don't know. I liked it. I just feel like there was still a lot of, like, I don't know, like, unanswered questions. But, you know see, and I, I mean? was okay with that because it's in free verse. Because it's which free Which we discussed verse, which... right there at that moment. Yeah. Yeah, but I really liked it, and I liked it so much that whenever I got done reading it at work, I brought it home. This is so crazy. And I read it to my mother in a phone call. Who reads a whole book 
over the phone. Yeah, I did that. Like, my mom would probably hang up on me. No, yeah, my mom loves me. And my mom would be like, oh, okay, Kaylee, and then just hang up and just see how long I could keep reading <laughs> until I called her back. I would have done the whole book. Maybe my mom <laughs> did that. I don't know. I, she said at the end that she was really happy that I read it to her, and I really recommend the book. Um, we did want to discuss, though, I think this is very important, that I read some Amazon.com reviews where people were giving it a lesser review because it's it's a seven dollar book but it's only 131 pages and you can read it so fast and while i don't think that's fair i don't believe that maybe it's really worth going out and spending eight dollars on i wish that there is a way that short books like that could be cheaper i mean i think it's worth seven dollars there are many ways Library. right there are you know what i mean but that doesn't really make the author all that much money you know what i mean like right. where the author gets but anyways, I'm just saying, don't give it a lesser review if you read it because you, you know, if you pay for it. Don't want to pay for that. You know yeah. what I mean? That's not really fair. That has no... It's not. ...withstandings on how good you think the book is. Exactly. But it is a really good book. Get it from a friend or get it from the library or get it from paperbackswap.com. Or if you buy it, I did say in the first video that you're not seeing, that if you buy it, then just pay the $7 for it and make all your friends read it. Like, it'll get its use. It's worth it. It's a really good book. So, yay, Leslie Connors. We're really, I think both of us are going to be looking for more of your yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was very so. good. And then, but the other book that I read was Joan Johnston's Captive. I read that during an entire day. I sat and started it, kind of pulled a U uh, with, with room. But I was really sick one day and had no energy to do anything except for read. So I read Captive, and I really liked it. It's a Regency, but isn't um, isn't all the things that I don't like about Regencies. I... So I really liked it, and what I really liked about this book, which I mentioned in my review, is that it's a romance, so you think it's going to be one hero, one heroine, and there's actually two love stories in it, which I thought was very okay, nice. I remember you telling me that. So I really liked that. And then I've picked up Doom Queens again. Not that it was uh, losing my interest, I just wasn't reading very much, and I picked it up again uh, today at work <coughs> and uh, read a couple more queens. I think I'm almost done. I could probably finish it if I just sat out and did it. We're and reading when we're done with the video. We are. We're reading when we're done. Well, she's reading while I post video and do all the hard work know, of I the blog. I just really want to finish room. But she really wants to finish room. <laughs> and um, and I also received, yesterday I received a model summer in the mail by uh, Paulina Por Porskova. And it's, I don't know what it's about. It's been on my wish list for like two years. I think she was on David Letterman or... Um, or Craig Ferguson or something like that, and I thought the book sounded really interesting. Plus, she was really pretty, so, mm. you know, I'm pretty easily Does won the over. Book yes, and we did discuss earlier in our first video that you're not seeing that um, we do judge a book by a cover a little bit. I definitely bit. do. Yeah. We try, I don't... Or, I, like, a good title, or... Exactly. Or, not like this book, which, thank God that I actually read the inside of it. Speaking of a good title, this book is, I'm not kidding you, called Give Me Back My Legions. It sounds like it's going to be funny. But this is Roman, so um, I don't know. Like, I'm really looking forward to it. And this is where we had mentioned in the first video that we wish Sari was here because she could explain to you what this book is about. Way, Way better. easier. Way easier. And she would also make it sound more interesting because she's awesome. And that's why I love her. And someday. Hi, and say, Kaylee loves you by osmosis. That's not See? the word I want, but she does. Kind of. I'm f I'm feeling the vibe. Because <laughs> I'm always like, I love Sari. And then she she yelled at me one day because I was like, Sari, my friend in Nevada. She's like, I know where Sari lives now. You don't <laughs> have to say that anymore. I was like, okay, fine, Sari. <laughs> and then she still did it a couple times. I need to call Sari. Shut up. Whatever. I'm just saying. I love you. Okay. So, and then I also got... Um, <clears throat> Marks of Cain by Tom Knox, which, again, Sari <laughs> has read. Sari's going to be part of this blog, whether she likes it or know, not, right? apparently. Um, we need a third co-blogger. We slacking. do. We are really Come slacking. On, Sari. <laughs> she can pull up the slack. That's not really I'll put you, you on that. speakerphone. <laughs> right? That would be my... Mike, I need to get a speakerphone. Why? <laughs> I have it on my cell phone. Oh, I have it on my cell phone as well. See? Sari is going to guess. We're going to get her to guest guess post speak. with us once. We're going to see how that'll work. But anyways, I got um, Barks of Cain by Tom Knox, and it's, um, he's the author of The Genesis Secret, which Sari said she read and she really didn't like all that much. But I really want to try Marks of Cain. She said, you know, she was like, well, go ahead. I mean, it's the second book. Maybe you figured some stuff out between the first one and the second one. So I'm going to oh, try. Oh, not the second in a series? No, it's just okay. the second book. I it's a standalone. I thought you couldn't do that. What are you oh, doing? Oh, no, I can't do that. I would never do that. <sighs> anyways, so, um, so, <laughs> so anyways, so I'm going to read Marks of Cain, and it looks interesting, and it looks kind of scary, so I don't know. 
but it's supposed to be kind of Dan Brownish, I guess. So I don't know. I never read Dan Brown's books. I watched the movies. I read Holy Bread, Holy Grail, and I didn't really feel the need to read the Dan Brown books. Do you know what I'm talking no, about? No, not at all. Shape or form? Well, uh -huh. I'll tell you whenever we're not doing this. If you do know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then maybe find out. Right, right. Email me. I'll tell you. So, anyways, <laughs> so um, those are the books I got, and I'm still reading India Drummond, Sweetheart Doll. I, I love you. Thank you for your patience. And I want it too. Yes, I'm still reading Ordinary Angels, and now I've read it so long that um, that now Kaylee's like, all right, just get done. Like, I want to read it. I know, I do want to read it. So I'm going to talk to India about all that, and um, her book released, I'm going to have some information for you for on the blog today. Oh, no. Oh, oh there we back. go. Oh, we're back. Okay. later it's not doing really well we're still the learning computers messing up the video <laughs> cameras going crazy we don't really know yeah we think we've covered everything if not we'll talk to you next week yeah we will and we're gonna get this webcam thing figured out and if you can help us and i'm gonna read room she is gonna read room she just really wants to be done talking so she can read i room. know <laughs> that's horrible she doesn't love you all as much I'm as sorry, she loves it's room a good book see now you should really all go out and go to your library and get room all right all right, so I guess that's what we're ending on. Go to your library and get room. Bye. All right, bye. 25 minutes.